This is a recording of Dr. Tom Rosell for Sunday, June 23rd, 2019. You can listen to this program live every Sunday afternoon from 12 noon to 1 p.m. right here on 105.9 FM WMAL. The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. Dr. Tom Rosell Live, right now on 105.9 FM WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, live in studio, waiting to take your calls on your health. You've had a problem, right? You've tried, you've applied, you've done all kinds of things that really haven't worked much. Well, here's an opportunity. Call me, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Let's talk about your stuff and see what we can do to put it together. We're going to have a little interesting conversation today with someone who is new to our office at the Rizal Center for Healing, but it's not new to what we do, and we're going to jump into that in a second. But you know, it's a beautiful day in Washington, D.C. today, and we're outside and we're doing all those things that we like to do. We should be anyway, right? Get outside, but you better be listening to the program before you go outside and do it. Uh, But you know, we suffer the strains and pains of all kinds of things that we do. We go out and play a little golf, and we wonder why our shoulders are sore and neck hurts, that we blew our low back out, play a little tennis, go for a walk, we go up hiking. You know, maybe it's just a stroll down next to the river up in, in Great Falls. But nevertheless, things happen, and sometimes we don't know why they happen. We're going to talk a little bit about that today from a very specific platform. We're going to talk about my favorite subject in the planet. It's called chiropractic. Those of you who know me know that I'm a chiropractor and an acupuncturist and I have, you know, functional medical background and so forth. But that's my favorite, you know, kind of hole, right? So we're going to talk about that, but we're going to talk about that with uh, a very wonderful doctor that has joined our practice this last May 1st. And with the skill sets, he is not only a chiropractor, he is a member of the very elite and uh, well-known college of the International College of Applied Kinesiology, and we may touch upon that a little bit today. But more importantly, I'd like to introduce to the Washington area, and Dr. Tom Rosell's listener, Dr. Jerry Cowart. Dr. Cowart, welcome to the program, and welcome not only to that, but to our, pro- uh, to our office. We're delighted to have you with us. Thank you so much. It's good good to be here. You know, we've known each other for quite some time and you know, finally convinced you that you needed to come work for one of the, as far as I'm concerned, the most elite wellness uh, group of crazy people in on, uh, the Washington metropolitan area, and we, we thank you for being with us. And I want to get into uh, a few things, uh, your background and so forth, and you're, uh, you're a southern boy to begin with, right? I sure am. Uh, from South Georgia, moved here from Atlanta. South Georgia? Where is South Georgia? Um, right outside of Savannah, Georgia, about 60 miles away, inland, near all the marsh and swamp areas. You know, they call me carpetbagger down there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm I'm from south of Buffalo, Jamestown, New York, and and I get down to that part of the world, and they look at me like, really? You know, you're, we're still having that north-south, you know, once yeah. in a while type of thing. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, you went to you graduated from uh, Life University, is that right? I sure did. Chiropractic school was at Life University. So, yes. uh, and you've been down to uh, the uh, Latin countries. You've done some mission trips down there. Sure have. Uh, El Salvador. That's that's amazing. There's not too many doctors that would give their time, their expertise to go to. And I want to talk to you about that a little bit because that's so sure. exciting. You know, we have Doctors Without Borders, mm-hmm. and they're all over the place. But most people don't understand that chiropractors go all over the world and spend not only days but sometimes you know months and weeks and more time than that servicing people that could not afford the care. We do a lot of that through caring for others, which is our foundation. And we try to touch and help as many people as we can, not only in the Washington metropolitan area, but elsewhere as well. You know, let's get into this this thing that we call chiropractic. And, you know, some people think they know what it is, and there's so many people that don't have a clue about what it is that we're talking. And, and it's based on a very specific set of principles. Why don't you go over that with us? Yeah, so the way... Um, our school kind of goes over it where Life University was very philosophical in nature when it comes to chiropractic. We definitely uh, consider the nervous system as 
the system in the body that controls everything else. So we hold a very high respect for the nervous system. Um, when it comes to the, the principles of chiropractic and how it was founded is, you know, you anything in the body, those of you who know Dr. Rossell's program and has been to his office, you know, there's three things that kind of cause anything in the body. You have your structural your platform, your emotional platform, your biochemical platform. Well, all of those things has a direct effect on the nervous system. And that's kind of our job as chiropractors to figure out what's going on to really address it to help your nervous system express the best version of itself that it can. So, you know, chiropractic has always said that, you know, body becomes less than functional if the nervous system is altered by something that the osteopaths, by the way, osteopathic physicians call spinal lesion, mm -hmm. is actually the direct correlative, means the same thing as what we call in chiropractic a, a spinal subluxation. Sure. And, you know, I want to take you through that because it's really important that we understand that the, the vertebral, the bones of the spine, the alignment, the neck, the middle back, the low back, the pelvic structure, the bones of the cranium, the, they move, uh, have a powerful impact on how the body functions. And so subsequently, you know, making sure that stabilization, that alignment is optimal. So let's talk a little bit about that background, that, that thing that we call spinal subluxation. What, what is it? What really is it? So basically, you have the word subluxation. If you break it down into two smaller parts, you have sub, which means small, and luxation is kind of the fancy medical term for a, a dislocation. So you're thinking a small malposition, a small misalignment of a vertebra. Each each bone in the spine and even in the, the uh, bones in the skull have a lot of different uh, joints, little articulations, things where the, the bones are meeting together. And they're misaligned. That can have drastic effects on different nerves that are coming out of the those bones that are coming out because they have many different exit points that are going um, as they're going to the different organs, muscles, and everything else in the body as well. Dr. Jerry, when we talk about spinal misalignment, uh, the old chiropractic theory that they used to purport was that uh, when a vertebrae a bone, a, uh, any joint space misaligns, it actually pinched the nerve and it was like a, a, a foot on a hose effect. Sure. But that's not necessarily true, is it? Not necessarily. There is some to it. And you know, if the subluxation becomes more sub, if you will, um, more grander than that, it definitely can have that effect. However, we noticed that if you're looking at what's called the IVF, the interferential uh, junction there. Which, oh, it, hold on, because you just threw a word out there that yes. most people are not even going to begin to understand. What, of course. What we're talking about, the IVF, the intervertebral foramen, or the hole mm -hmm. that two bones sitting on top of each other makes, and that's the exit point for the nerve that comes out of your spine. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm the interpreter. <laughs> of course. Go ahead. Um, so when that happens, not only do you have those nerves that go out of that hole, but you also have your arteries, your your veins, you've got some connective tissue that's going on in there. So when those bones get misaligned, it's not necessarily the straight bone on nerve as what sometimes chiropractic is classically taught, but it's that complete derangement that's altering the entire composition of what goes out of that hole, that foramina, that can really have an effect on it. So you can have a stretch reaction to the nerve. You can Absolutely. have a stretch reaction to the spinal cord as well. Absolutely. Or you can have uh, the disc, what we call that little shock absorber that sits in between. You can have pressure on that. So the mechanics, the hydraulics, if you will, of the – see, the disc is, is this hard cartilaginous, uh, cartilaginous substance. And inside, the soft tissue, that thing that slips, quote-unquote, is actually like toothpaste, and it begins to break its way through. So uh, this misalignment, it can affect all these, all these things we're talking about. Absolutely, yes. So subsequently, you've got a either – a hyper irritation or a hypo irritation of the nerve signal. Yes. Would that be a good way to put it? Yeah, that's a very fair way of putting it for sure. Okay, so chiropractic is in its inception what? What does it do with that whole process? So our, our listeners can understand it better than what would come out of my craziness. Well, in its absolute inception, there was a guy by the name of Harvey Lillard who was basically deaf. Um, and with the, the founder of chiropractic, D.D. Palmer, he gave him adjustment, and he was able to restore his, heal, uh, his hearing. Excuse me. 
So with that kind of came a whole profession of well, what else can chiropractic do? So you, if you can adjust the bone, get everything structurally aligned, you alleviate those irritations on the nervous system that's coming in and out of the, the bones, that in turn can have an effect on the entire nervous system, not just the healing, not just the the muscle, not just the organs, but the entire nervous system in and of itself. So now you're going you're going back to the, the inception of mm -hmm. what it is that we all do, and chiropractic formalized itself about 1895, mm -hmm. and you mentioned uh, Dr. Palmer, D.D. Palmer, and the story, which is an interesting story, by the way, and it's found in what... Uh, uh, it was called the chiropractic green books. Uh, yes. They're all p philosophical books. But, you know, the story goes on that this guy by the name Harvey Lillard, he had a carriage accident. A carriage ran over him. He was, he was the janitor, if you will, in the building that uh, Dr. Palmer was in. Mm -hmm. And he lost his hearing. And the story goes, apparently, that there was this bump he found in the lower part of his neck or wherever it was and said that they gave him a chiropractic adjustment, which is a manual movement of the vertebrae, and restored his hearing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we went from that point forward and, uh, as you said, trying to find the applications therefore. So let's talk about those applications because that's important because chiropractic has, you know, since 1895 grown, blossomed, and so forth, but it was taken from so many other things uh, and fields around the world uh, the people were back in the day were known as bone setters and we're going back hundreds and hundreds of years ago and you know and we talked about and you mentioned earlier that there's only three things that can cause that irritation one's injury one's diet and the other one's stress mm -hmm. so subsequently you know these subluxations if you will these neurological interferences can cause other things what can they cause a myriad of different uh, uh, symptoms, if you will, or dysfunctions. You can have headaches, you can have um, digestive patterns, and the more common one, you can also have pain. As we talked about last week on the program with Dr. Browning, pain can definitely be a huge issue, um, and subluxations can definitely cause those as well. Um, several different types of symptoms. You name them, a subluxation can probably cause it. You know, the interesting thing, one of the things I saw way early on in practice, and as you know, I've been at it since dinosaurs ruled the earth, uh, women would come into the office and they would have lateral breast pain. And, the you know, just to the, to the touch of the breast tissue, it was very sore. Sometimes the nipple was involved. And they would had everything done. They would had mammograms done. And they had, you know, ultrasounds done. And they were treated this way. And nothing would seem to resolve this problem. But there's a nerve called the long thoracic nerve that comes out of the lower portion of the neck that goes down to the outside of the chest cavity. And it's a result of a subluxation often that this lateralization, this breast tissue soreness occurs. Mm -hmm. And subsequently, you know, you fix that lower portion of the neck and life as they know it becomes better because the pain goes away. Right. So you see a lot of different things hanging in that way. And uh, you know, you see pain patterns that are basically uh, unknown, if you will. We don't know where they're coming from, but we're going to dumb it down and we're going to give it a drug. And, you know, so we get into this thing with people being overdrugged with opioids. And so we're going to talk about that in the second half of the program, by the way. You know, my, my pleasure, my guest in studio today is Dr. Jerry Cowart. He is brand new to the Roselle Center for Healing. This is our way of introducing him to all of you, not new to chiropractic, but a man who has significant heart and soul and giving his time uh, to missions around the lower portion of this country, the Mediterranean, not the Mediterranean, the Caribbean. I want to go to the Mediterranean. We'll be right back after some very important messages. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live. We are in studio on a gorgeous, gorgeous Washington day. Going to be outside a little bit later. I'm going to go for a walk and sit outside my deck. And re but right now we have more important things to do, and that's educating you. Give us a call, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you. We'll talk about anything you like to. We're going to, in the second half of the program, we're going to get into a little bit about the opioid crisis and, you know, the things that are really destroying this country. But more importantly, how chiropractic care 
can and does effectively eliminate pain and stop people from having to get hooked on some of these devastating drugs that really take people's lives away. It's an unfortunate crisis that we're experiencing, but one that unfortunately was uh, perpetuated by, well, we're going to use these drugs as standard of care and people get hooked on them. In studio, we have a new addition to the Rizal Center for Healing in Fairfax, a doctor by the name of Jerry Cowart. We're so pleased to have him with us. He is a member of the prestigious International College of Applied Kinesiology. He is a chiropractor, obviously, and he has spent his time uh, serving people who have nothing in their lives. He's gone to Latin America, and he's given of his time twice, and you know, there's not a lot of doctors that do that. Anyway, again, uh, Dr. Jerry, welcome to the program. Glad to have you here with us. Glad to have you in the practice. It's, uh, it's a great addition to us. It keeps me on my toes. Yeah, it's great to be here. I I'm definitely have enjoyed my time so far. You know, we were talking uh, before the break about spinal subluxation, and what that means is that we have vertebrae that are misaligned, and they can cause problems to the neurological signal to the target where they're going. And you said early on that things that cause subluxation are stress patterns of diet and injury and emotional stress. Absolutely. And then they cause the body not to work as effectively and as efficiently as it should. Let's, let's move that forward a little bit. I want to kind of prelude that into what we're going to talk about uh, for a few minutes in the next half of the program. Let's talk about that pain pattern. Sure. How does a spinal subluxation this misalignment of the vertebrae, this sometimes, and we're talking about a minor misalignment. Mm -hmm. First of all, again, what happens, and then why does it cause pain? So with this, maybe use a couple of bigger words again, but we'll break them down. So with your different vertebrae, there's many different articulations, joints. They move, they have many, and every time they move, they are giving input to your nervous system, your brain, your brain stem, spinal cord. Um, and if those subluxations, those minor misalignments, basically prohibit those vertebrae from moving, you're not going to be able to have the appropriate input going into your nervous system. And with that, your what's called mechanoreceptors, your movement receptors in your body, those are actually what kind of override your nociceptors, which are your pain receptors in your body. So if you're not getting proper movement and your vertebrae are getting stuck, that basically just kind of opens up your floodgate. Those the gates just allow your those pain receptors receptors to kind of just take over, and that's where you get a lot of your pain patterns coming from. So this, these pain patterns, in a, in a very technical term, is called nociceptors, right? Mm -hmm. And so they respond to all kinds of aberrant, if you will, stimulation. Sure. And that misalignment of the vertebrae, that off-centering, that abnormal juxtaposition of the vertebrae, can cause those nociceptors to go crazy. They fire. Absolutely. And they get into a loop. Mm -hmm. And that loop is what perpetuates that chronic pain pattern. And, you know, if it's not treated properly, if it's not identified properly, it just doesn't go away. Correct. So, you know, when you've had the experience, I'll talk to this very, very quickly. We have about a minute before we have to take a break. When you were in uh, school way back in the day, you had... Uh, a patient with a spondyl a spondylolisthesis, mm -hmm. and that spondylolisthesis is actually a break of the vertebrae, the gliding points, and a, and a movement forward, yes. and chronic pain pattern that just wouldn't stop. Yes, but you were able to resolve it. Yes, actually, um, uh, we basically had to break that pain pattern. We had to get the the proper movement of of those bones, and in this case, those pieces of bones working properly to eliminate that perpetual loop of the pain pattern that that patient uh, was experiencing, for sure. You know, that's so exciting to me, why I'm so proud to be a chiropractor. You know, because we do things without drugs, we avoid unnecessary surgery, where sometimes it's pointed that this patient will have to be surgically stabilized. In a case like a spondylolisthesis, uh, unfortunately, often they are, and not necessarily so in my opinion, mm -hmm. when other things can be done. And here's a prime example of that, where, you know, you took a patient who'd been in chronic pain, who'd been everywhere, who'd done all kinds of things, and no one was able to help. And because of basic approaches in chiropractic and 
I might add, applied kinesiology, which we can Absolutely. talk about as we go through, you were able to eliminate the pain pattern and this patient regain their life. We're going to talk more about that. We're coming up to a break. This is a, a fascinating area for me, one that I've spent 42 years of my life dedicated to, and it's so it's great to have somebody like Dr. Coward with me. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM, WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live, as we always do on Sundays, correct? That's just like everything else we do on Sundays. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Give us a call. Love to talk about your stuff today and what we can do to help you and put you in the direction, at least of consideration, that you have control and may be able to avoid unnecessary surgeries and drugs that may be inappropriate for you, but we'll talk about that. We're talking about uh, chiropractic today and what it's all about and why it's so effective and why across the board from the federal government all the way down and saying that it's probably the top thing to do for not only low back pain, but for other pain patterns. And in studio, we have a new addition to our practice and someone that we're introducing to the Dr. Tom Rizal Live audience, Dr. Jerry Cowart. Dr. Cowart is a graduate of Life University down in Atlanta, Georgia. And he's also a member of the prestigious International College of Applied Kinesiology. And we are delighted to have him here. We're also very delighted to have him in our practice. And he's been with us since May 1st. And uh, it's exciting because it keeps me on my toes uh, more so than any of these guys can begin to understand because i got to stay sharp and figure it out. Dr. Cowart, Dr. Jay, welcome again and glad to have you here. Thank you. It's good to be here. So, you know, I said in the first half of the program, we're going to talk a little bit about this crazy opioid uh, epidemic, if you will, that we have in uh, the organization. And there's been a uh, organization that was formed called the Voices for Non-Opioid Choices, and it's a coalition of about 20 different groups of people, and they're committed to preventing opioid addiction before it starts by increasing patient access to non-opioid therapies and approaches and, and managing acute pain patterns and chronic pain patterns. And, you know, so many things are misdiagnosed. Um, you know, we, we see pain with patients who, you know, particularly after surgery, that never go away. Uh, we see people that are submitted to neck uh, surgery, back surgery, and success rate means that 50% of these people either get better or they don't get worse. 50% continue to break down and deteriorate over a period of time. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people that are involved from the American Nurses Association, Alliance of Orthopedic Executives, the American Medical Women's Association, National Safety Council, the American Chiropractic Association, and the International College of uh, International Chiropractic Association, and very much leading the fight about this. Let's talk about pain, and it's something that we see often in our practice. And patients come in and they're on tons of different medic medications. They're just putting up with. Um, and, you know, just to dumb down the signal to the brain so they can function at some level. But at the end of the day, I want to talk about the effectiveness of what we do and how, how it applies to pain patterns. But let's talk about pain and why, in your opinion, you know, this is, is turned into such a crisis, you know, and, and from our platform probably shouldn't be. Well, like I was saying earlier today, the... Um a lot of the pain can be modulated by proper movement, whether it be in the actual bone itself when we're talking about a vertebra or just the global concept of someone moving. And I've, I'm seeing as generations get further and further increase in like technology and all that stuff that we're not moving as much. Um, and I, I, I see that as we are moving less, the more pain patterns and the more pain patterns we're getting stuck in are on the rise, really. You know, it's unfortunate when we see patients who are in pain and they're given so many different medications. The medication does not do anything to heal the, the, the condition. You know, it's something that just blunts it, modifies it, but the body continues to deteriorate, correct? Correct. So when you're dealing with that and a patient comes in and it, it's on its way to permanency, permanency is when you see spinal degeneration, mm -hmm. permanency is when you see tissue changes, and you know, they've suddenly been diagnosed as having advanced spinal stenosis or they have you know, osteoporosis 
porosis, meaning loss of bone mass, and all these things can cause pain. So the medical approach, traditionally, up until now, and everybody's raising the, the flag, is let's dumb it down with a drug. Right. And with that is, as far as I know, is that not, nothing, especially when these pain patterns are concerned, they never happen because you are deficient in a medication, per se. But it's more of, okay, if we got this medication, you're no longer in pain, but you never actually fix the problem that caused them to begin with. You're still going down that pattern of immobility. And that's when we start getting into like the spinal stenosis and the degenerative changes and all that is that those are processes are still happening because they were never fixed to begin with. So spinal stenosis basically is a, a narrowing. You talked about it earlier, that IVF or that intervertebral foramina, a crushing, if you will, of the nerve root. And that can cause pain. It's like you know somebody hammering your big toe. It's going to hurt. Right. And the signal to the target, wherever that's going, we know that the nerves come out of the spine and they divide. One branch goes to organ, another branch goes to muscle. Correct? Absolutely. So when that nerve is irritated, it causes a problem. It absolutely could. And depending on where it's being irritated, it could have effect on the muscle, like you said, or on the organ, like you said, or it could have effect on both. And that's when you really start getting into a lot of those chronic patterns. So patient presents to you, Dr. Jerry. They're coming in with pain. They've been on all kinds of different medications. Uh, how do you approach that patient? What do you do with it from a chiropractic point of view? What do you do with that patient? Well, I go through a pretty strict initial evaluation where I'm looking at their their structural patterns. I'm looking at their neurological patterns. I'm also going to look at what other kind of stressors that they're going through, whether it be mental, diet, emotional, that all those kind of parameters. And I go and I really find what caused the pain pattern to begin with. And then I, I see what needs to be addressed further from that point. But really, the goal is to get to the root cause, get to that origin, figure out what happened to begin with. You know, it's, in, it's important to understand pain patterns. And you know, in chiropractic, straight, old, old-fashioned, looking at the structural pieces, you know, in our office at the Result Center for Healing, we look at truly the biochemical pathways. We look at the injuries that have occurred, small injuries, big injuries. Uh, we look at the emotional stress patterns and how they've affected the body's physiology. In this case, we're talking about the nervous system, brain, spinal cord, 31 pairs of nerves that come off. They bifurcate, they divide. One branch goes to organ, one branch goes to muscle. And the signaling that it does, or in this case, what we're talking about, Dr. Jerry, is the, the inappropriate, the aberrant, the hyperstimulation or signaling, or the lack thereof, correct? Correct, absolutely. So follow us through with that. We're, because of that aberrant signaling mm -hmm. and the potential pace, what's next? What do you do with that patient when they walk in? How do you determine, yep, this is a patient I can handle and I can help, uh, and this is one that you know will be successful under chiropractic care? How do you do that synthesis? How do you make that out? Again, it's, it's going back to that original evaluation. I'm looking at how is the nervous system being affected to begin with, and if I can find that origin to where that aberrant information is coming from. Again, you have bad input, you're going to get bad output. You got to find where that input is coming from. And once you find that input using chiropractic care, a lot of times you're going to get that pain pattern resolved way quicker than even what medication can do on just a symptoms level. You know, the International Chiropractic Association, the American Chiropractic Association has endorsed uh, a basically set of guidelines, uh, and it's called Beyond Medications, and it's developed by the Integrative Health Policy Consortium, or the IHPC, and it was designed to assist healthcare professionals and to understand and, and access non-pharmaceutical uh, pathways, if you will, particularly non-opioid pathways. We've, uh, we have, we're, we're in a crisis in this country, and, and opioid addiction is profound. People get into a loop that they, they can't get away from these drugs. And by the way, uh, as we said earlier, we wanted to make something available to you. We're, uh, the, our, uh, our foundation, Caring for Others, is uh, very involved in assisting people across the world, uh, in, particularly in this country, and 
people who really deserve to be treated fairly and bringing them health care, particularly natural and integrative health care. So they're working with us right now to uh, introduce you to Dr. Jerry Cowart. And uh, for the rest of the month, those of you who have you know, this interest, you'd like to find out what chiropractic is all about, but maybe, you know, you just, you don't want to. We're going to give you a way of making that happen without any obligation whatsoever. Uh, Dr. Cowart will be accepting patients for the rest of this month. If you call in, you can schedule the appointment in July, but you have to make a uh, make call now uh, as a courtesy consultation examination, a full examination process, and it's actually two visits for you making a $99 donation to Caring for Others, which is a, a Virginia-based 501c3 foundation. It's purely, absolutely, totally tax deductible. So it gives you the opportunity to come in for a consultation and examination and no further obligation, but you can find out whether or not chiropractic care can help you, whether it's with uh, a, a chronic pain pattern, fibromyalgia, whether it's a headache pattern that you have, whether you got numbness or tingling in your arms and your fingers and your shoulders, it's time to find out. Just quit putting it off. Now's the time to do it. Here's an opportunity to meet a very bright uh, young doctor that has tremendous tools in the area that we're talking about. Uh, all you got to do is call Roselle Center for Healing at 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. And tell the staff that you'd like to make an appointment with Dr. Cowart. And it's for a $99 donation to Caring for Others. Again, fully tax deductible to you. And you have the opportunity to speak with this uh, very bright young doctor and to find out if something can be done. Uh, to get rid of this pain, this numbness, this tingling, these noxious stimulations, if you will, that you've been putting up with for a long time and haven't been able to get rid of. Do it today. Call 703-698-7117 and make that appointment. You will not be disappointed, uh, and you'll have a full Roselle Center team working with you to help you as well. Dr. Cowart, let's let's talk a little bit about you know pain patterns because it's important. In today's world, people are dealing with pain. They're numbing it up with drugs. They're trying to blunt it as it's, it's uh, affecting the nervous system. Uh, they're on everything that you can possibly imagine. It's, it's, it makes me absolutely crazy on you know a good day. Uh, but let's talk about numbness, arm pain, soreness, and so forth. And the patient has gone everywhere, and nothing can resolve this numbness, this tingling. They've had every diagnosis in the world. Why should they look at chiropractic? What would what what could they find out if they consulted with you, they were examined by you, what uh, signs and symptoms would tell you this is a chiropractic case and nothing else and nothing else is going to handle this thing but that? Sure. So when you're talking about numbness and tingling going anywhere through, say, the arm or even all the way down to the, the fingers, you got to look at the nervous system first. The nervous system that controls, the part of the nervous system that controls that numbness and tingling all the way down into your fingers that's going to start in your neck, your the cervical spine, if you will. That's where those nerve roots start. And if you've got some sort of misalignment going on in that cervical spine in your neck, that will affect that nerve root, the root cause of that. And so, like we were talking about before, finding what was that source. Now, sure, past the spine, you also have into your shoulder, your clavicle area, you've got stuff going down to the elbow and to the wrist and into the fingers and all the musculature that's in between. And that whole nerve is a path of nervous system information. And sure, it can be trapped or aberrant information can be found throughout that entire pathway. But the origin of that really is the spine. And that's where we will end up starting first is seeing what's happening there. And then we'll evaluate further. You know, when you look at the spinal system and you need to diagnose that condition, what are the primary keys? What are the things that will allow you to make that diagnosis? What tools? Are they strict orthopedic tests? Are they muscle function tests? Are they, you know, uh, are, there, are there imaging uh, that you need to look at to make that assessment? What can the patient expect? Sure. So, yeah. Uh, Radiology x-rays can can be used, but oftentimes 
are fairly unnecessary. There's definitely palpatory findings, things that we can feel, things that we can touch, things that just doesn't feel like they're aligned. Sure, a lot in our office, we do a lot of muscle testing with applied kinesiology. We can get actual motor muscle function to see what's going on there. There's also different neurological pathways, like uh, sensory tests that we can do to figure out, is it nerve root, is it not, and move forward from there. When you deal with a patient, and we all deal with patients who are in pain patterns that just don't want to go away, and we see them walking in with every medication you can possibly think of, it's pretty awful. You know, if you put yourself in their position, in their shoes, if you will, you know, that they live with this stuff day in and day out. And we know from literally thousands and thousands of patients that we've touched over a period of decades that this is resolvable. It goes away. It's not something that they necessarily have to live with. And, you know, some years ago, I wrote a book called Ageless Health, Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. I think it's about six years now, and so maybe seven. And what it basically says is that you have to take control of your life, of your health, because nobody else is going to do it. They're just going to numb it up. They're going to drug it. They're going to set it aside and tell you, well, what do you expect for your age? You have to learn to live with it. Well, here's an opportunity. Call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. And ask the Results Center staff to schedule an appointment with Dr. Jerry Cowitz. And remember, it is our gift to you. All we're asking for is a $99 donation to Caring for Others, a 5013 Foundation. Washington's Mall, 105.9 FM, WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rizal here. You've been listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live as you do every Sunday at high noon on the Eastern Seaboard. Again, thank you to our men and women in the military. I don't know how you find us, but... Please, if we, any way that we can possibly help you in your journeys and make your health stronger, better, so you can serve us, please let us know, and we'll be more than happy to make that uh, take place. It's been a fun program today. We have had the opportunity, the pleasure of speaking with a very young doctor, chiropractor, a member of the prestigious International College of Applied Kinesiology, Dr. Jerry Cowart, who has joined the Rizal Center for Healing as of May 1, and we are really happy to introduce him to you. He's had the heart and the soul to help people who are less fortunate and has served in a couple of mission trips uh, in the, the Latin world. Uh, there's not a lot of doctors who will step out of their, their own way to make those things happen. Uh, the Rizal Center is going to offer you an opportunity to find out whether or not this thing we call chiropractic is right for you at absolutely no obligation whatsoever to you. All you need to do uh, to make an appointment with Dr. Cowart is simply call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. And tell our staff that you'd like to make an appointment with Dr. Cowart. The only thing we ask for is a $99 donation to Caring for Others, which is a Virginia-based 501c3. It's fully tax-deductible to you. So uh, it's called an exchange. We will happily do that for you, and you can find out whether or not your problems, your pain, your ouch will go away without all the drugs and the medications that you're on, and you have a full team behind you that will also be assisting to make that happen. So call 703-698-7117 and take advantage of this. You can, we'll uh, spend our time helping you, and you can help us help others who are less fortunate than you as well. Dr. Cowart, we've got a couple uh, quick minutes. Uh, why don't you walk our listeners through what they can expect if they come in for a full chiropractic uh, consultation examination? W what's the flow on that? Sure. You come in. You fill out some forms for us. Basically, the name of the game is getting as much data about you, so that way we can help you as much as possible. So you'll come in. You'll fill out some forms. Then you will uh, see our lovely clinical staff. They'll go through, get your vitals. Uh, you'll do a gait analysis, so that way we can see how you're walking, moving, grooving, get a sense of how your balance is working. Then you'll do what's called the AccuGraph, which is um, testing how your energetic platform is working or not working. And it'll also give us a quick little window on how your organ systems can be working as well. Then after that, you'll sit down with me. 
You will, we will go through your overall history with health, kind of figure out what's been going on with you, uh, anything that's happened in the past. Again, the name of the game is getting as much data on you as possible. And then we'll move for, forward into our examination, do palpatory findings to figure out you know, what I can feel, what you're feeling, uh, do a lot of um, uh, muscle testing like we do with the applied kinesiology in the office, do a lot of like neurological testing to really get what what's going on, what that root cause is. And then furthermore, if any further exams or anything like that, that will be discussed towards the end. You know, it's, it's an important process. It actually takes quite a bit of time. You, as you come in, uh, that initial exam and all the preliminaries, we're talking about an hour and a half evaluation and then a return visit to go over your findings, again, all included in that $99 donation to Caring for Others. Our, our time, our expertise is being donated to you. This is an opportunity to really find out whether something can be done or not done and getting an opinion, if you will, based on a different point of view. Dr. Jerry, thank you for being with us today. It's uh, It was fun to have you, and it, it's, it's a pleasure for uh, you being with us in the practice. It gives us a, a new, fresh breath of air and expansion that we, we need and we try to continue to uh, put there for our patients. We're coming up to that part of the program. Unfortunately, that I have to say, we'll see you next week, and we have a great program for you next week. Go to rosellecare.com, and you can find all of our programs, and most of them are listed in the next two, three, four weeks of what you're going to learn. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 38 years of practice and almost a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health Is, a do-it-yourself program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is, a do-it-yourself program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Breast cancer is a major health risk to all women. It can silently grow uninterrupted for years. The Thermography Centers of Fairfax reminds all women to conduct monthly and annual breast exams. Consider a thermography scan from the Thermography Centers as an adjunct to your routine breast exams. Digital infrared thermal imaging is safe and non-invasive. For more information and to schedule an appointment, call 703-520-7591 or visit thermographycenters.com. Mmm. 